Okay, let's bring out Joy. She's a co-host of ABC's The View and author of The Great Gas Bag, an A to Z study guide to surviving Trump world. Joy Behar is over here. Joy Behar, it's so great to see Thank you. Thank you. You never grow old. You always are the same. I'm I don't old, know what you're, you're always you're... talking about being old on this show lately. I, I know. Are you afraid to die now? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always was, but now it's more likely. It's closer, uh, yeah. But uh, I, I, I wanted to have you on just because I love you and I, you always make me laugh, but also because I feel like I'm also having an argument, like almost on a weekly basis, with other Democrats where you are on my side. Yes. I keep saying Democrats are too nice. They're too nice. They don't go, and you are my ally, right? right. They don't go for the jugular. You right. don't go for that. When they go low, we go high. No, when no. they go low, we should go lower. Exactly. Okay. Dan, listen. You're the first perpetrator of this. He <laughs> wants the kumbaya. Forget the fuck the kumbaya. <laughs> These people on that side are crazy. Don't you understand? They're crazy. Well, you don't deal with white supremacists. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk to him, All too. Right. But, but yes, I mean, I, I, what, what happened to that gene in the Democrat uh, makeup? I mean, it, it wasn't that way with Bobby Kennedy. And Ted and, and uh, John F. Kennedy, they were tough. They weren't this this kind of too nice Democrat. They were busy getting laid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, <laughs> cer certainly part of it, I think, the problem is uh, political correctness. Yes, I, I indeed. I believe I did a show about that some years <laughs> yes. ago. Well, no, uh, I remember when John Kerry was running. I, I saw him at something, and I said, "You've got to deal with these people. You need to be tough." What are you going to do to deal with these Republicans? He was like, "Don't worry, I can handle it." No, he didn't. He didn't. No, they did don't. Not. They don't. I don't no. know. Somewhere that gene is it went recessive. And anyway. also, you have to speak very simply to people. They don't want to hear all this wonky stuff that you hear on CNN and MSNBC. Right. Go right for the jugular, the way Trump does. He, he's smart in that way. He is. He, it's no. the only thing that's smart about exactly. him. Exactly. He's a he's a <laughs> terrific con man. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, you play. Club, not clubs. Not but, anymore. I no, can't. not club. I don't mean clubs. Like what theaters. are you? Theaters. Theaters. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah. it's a little. The, the atmosphere is a little more constrained than it used well, to be. Well, you can't say anything now. I mean, look at. Well, Jane. you can. We can because we're a little grandfathered in. Again, with the old age references. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, you know what yeah. I mean. We, we... Yeah, we're grandfathered in. We're... My grandmothered in, in my case. <laughs> but um, I don't like to work anymore as a stand-up, hardly, because anything you say, they write it down, they tape you, yes, they write, put, tweet about yeah, it. And it. Yes. And, like, James Corden got in trouble last week yeah, with for, Rose yeah. McGowan. It's like, lay off the comedians, it's, it's, okay? Yeah. Leave the comedians. We're like the philosophers of the toy, not Socrates and Aristotle, but we are the philosophers right now. And we don't... So... And also, the thing about comedians... <laughs> no, Matt. The, the, we are. We're the, the thing okay. about comedians is that because we can work in the clubs, we don't care about these jobs like this job or my job. We can always work, so we will say whatever we want. Well, speak for yourself. <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to go back to the club. Yeah, Jesus yeah, yeah. Christ. All right. But uh, all right. So let's talk about men and their and their bad behavior because. Uh, this, this, like I said, this is a watershed time. This, things will never be the same. I right, think. right. Why do you think now? I mean, why the sexual not harassment a year is? ago when this, when the t Trump tape came out? Why not five years ago or ten years ago? Why not at the dawn of the women's liberation movement? Why is it now that finally? I, I mean, it, it, it's a, it's kind of amazing. I, I'm a little. I don't think that, I'm not too optimistic because really, Anita, Anita Hill came out, and then we had uh, we have Clarence Thomas. But it's on a different. But it, come on, it's a different era with social media and all the women joining in and all the all these. Uh, yeah, but there's still most men are, in, are the I people mean, in power. What did they're the, the ones in power? They're the ones who intimidate the women, and yeah. they're the ones who say you're not going to get the job unless you let me look, unless unless you look at my penis. I, I mean, I, I, that's basically that's what they're saying. Oh, at these I, I know when you read about the, yeah. uh, you know, they, they all have it. They all have. <laughs> what are you looking at him for? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, they all have an mo. Yes. And it's just like like Cosby, like here, take some drugs, right. knock you out, right. you know, That's true. Or, it's just... or or you know, like masturbating, yeah. or just rubbing an erection. I, yeah. Like I I thought I didn't know women all my life. I don't know men. 
I, 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 this. I know. <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> and <laughs> what did Bill O'Reilly do that that got that woman thirty-two million dollars? What what could you possibly? How vile does it have to be? I know. Be? I, I know. Well, I, I I wouldn't fuck him for thirty-two million dollars. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know what he did to that girl, but no. he's not worth 32 million. Right. Uh-uh. <laughs> and I must say, it, it, when, you, when you look at the list of people, it is always married guys. It's always married, yeah. Just saying. Why is that? Because they have shitty sex lives. Oh, yeah. I think, I think they're not having a sex of satisfactory They're bored at home. Is they're that bored. it? No, no, no. That's got nothing to do with it. Nothing to no. do with it? Uh, Halpern is accused of, of masturbating under the desk while he's talking to somebody. What's that got to do with him being married? Yeah, let's not bring the wives into it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, let's leave the wives out of it. Yeah. Well, we're the wives not bringing the wives. Well, finding their own <laughs> business while these jerks are jerking off. Uh, you know? okay. <laughs> uh, My book. Your book. I have a book. <laughs> yeah. I flew 3,000 miles to plug oh, the book. Your book. <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> Boy, what? The book, uh, the book is called The Great Gas Bag. What's it called? The Great Gas Bag. <laughs> What's Thunk. it about? I, I, about? I toyed with other top titles. What do you think of um, uh, the War and Hair Piece? That was one. <laughs> uh, Moby Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> What other titles did you think? I have also, uh, the son-in-law. I'm a beat behind. The, the, the son-in-law also rises. How about uh, that? <laughs> but I wrote it for Trump's uh, Trump anti-Trumpers. If you if, if you're a Trump supporter, don't buy the book. I, I forbid you to buy the book. Who's the book for? It's only for us. <laughs> it's for us. Okay.